Oh yeah! Hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Australia. I know it's been a while, but we're back. Check it out! Give it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS on 25, we got a combo. Yeah, so there's been a whole bunch of stuff. I've been having some medical issues. I hurt my shoulder, and my legs, all that sort of stuff. And... Haven't been able to get out much and do much, but we're finally back out in the Blue Mountains again. And we got more videos, some special stuff coming up later on. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like, all that sort of stuff. Yes, I know it's been a while, but we decided to come up to Lockley's pylon. <laughs> it's not much of a pylon, it's a pile of rocks, or there's a few names that you get. Um, when rocks are stacked together but this is the official Lockley's pylon and I thought well what a good way to come back and do another hiking video so let's have a look Vanessa wanted to she's over there setting up a tripod she wanted to get the three sisters with some fog so we had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to get down here. It's actually a lot darker than that. You can see it better through the camera. But yeah, we're waking up to get first light so she can get some photos of the three sisters in Oh, the things I do for her. <laughs> <laughs> the sunrise didn't quite work. Clouds coming in, starting to rain. It started to look like we were going to get some good footage, but. Go back to the hotel and get some breakfast. Okie dokie. So we're checking out the Lockley pylon track. Back in the Blue Mountains to do a couple hikes. And here we go. raining on and off so there's a good chance we'll get wet. But we thought that never stopped us before. We'll just get out here and keep trekking. Let's go. Settled in. I got an umbrella. The next is all ponchoed up. I'm just coming for a little quick side trail. To this little point. I'm just having a good look around here. I'm gonna go too close to the edge because. It's wet and slippery. Now look at that view. And you can see the rain. We're in the clouds. It's raining on us. If it wasn't so wet, this would be a good little rest break to sit down and 
just chill out for a bit. But yeah. So we still got more to go, so we're gonna keep going. Got a short break from the rain. So we're pulling along, bit by bit. Gotta have a rest and take this back off. people I don't know right on the point so got a ridge walk there and as you can see the clouds are coming in so that's where we're headed that's the peak and we got stairs lots of stairs Clouds are rolling in again. But then the stairs turn into a steep rocky path. Lockley's pylon. Ooh. And at the moment, the view, as you can see, is cloud. <laughs> it's a whiteout. But we made it up here. Yeah, we finally made it up here. It's been an awesome trek. So behind me, there's the pathway. Yep. Um, quite a long way, but as you can see, there's clouds everywhere and they're not all dry. Yes, we've been rained on a bit, so it's patchy weather, fog. It's all good. It's been an awesome trek so far. It's a nice little hike just to get, you know, get back into the swing of things. And yeah, so we finally made it to the summit. And now we swing around this way. There's a pathway down there. And we're gonna go check that out. And there's another pathway on that side, but it's closed because I think there was a landslide or something. So you can't go that one. So we're gonna check out the one that's just down there. And then head back out so as you can see things might look a little different I got a new camera and I'm trying that out so these next few videos I thought oh well I'll put away the M50 and the other cameras I've been using and I'll try out this one so let's see how this one goes but there'll be a lot more videos coming up but anyway let's keep moving down down here and down to the point. Not sure if we have to come back up or if there's a pathway that goes down. So we're gonna go see the waterfall somewhere behind those clouds. And there's Vanessa, and we gotta try and find the pathway around. Now we're heading back to the car. We see how we go. Oh, I have to put the camera away. But yeah, we gotta get back down to that pathway and this goes up and around. Okay, hopefully if the rain stays away, I'll be able to film more on the way back so you can see what the track's like. So this is what it should have looked like. <laughs> it was all covered in cloud. pathway that we came in on. So beautiful here. And then up there. Yeah, that was fenced off because it was a nice little bit down to there. Just before the summit. Oh yeah.
Just before the climb to the summit, we've got these caves here. And we thought we'd come and check them out after we did the summit today. Let's just have a look. See what we got here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is where we should have stayed when it rained. Just overlooking the view. It's on the way here that was all covered in cloud. Right up there is where we went to. Whew. It's been a good day. Now we're gonna walk back to the car and then head to Lincoln's Rock if we got time. See you when I woke up there. We'll take this short little side trail. Just see what the view is like. So that's the way we came from. Use the pass over there, going in there. So we got more rain clouds coming around, and. You can actually see a bit more now from when we were here earlier. Oh, we come around. Ooh, there's Vanessa. Have a look. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this. We're just looking, and just with the naked eye, let's see if we can zoom in. There's a waterfall. It's huge. Loving the camera. Wow, it looks awesome. We couldn't see that before because of all the fog. Oh, we'll have to work out how to get over there and see that one up close. That's a huge waterfall. And here comes the rain again. So, yeah, let's see what Lincoln's Rock is, or Lincoln's Point, or whatever it is, when we get there. Let's see what that's like. If not, we might end the video. Let's fast forward. Well, we made it to Lincoln's Rock for sunset. But they put in this gate, and they've actually got a car park now. Yeah, because before, you used to drive up here. So if you're coming back, so if you ever come into Ling Park, you have to turn right out of the street and there's the car park over there. And then they say it's 300 meters. It's because they used to get pretty hectic down here as far as parking and cars everywhere. So, yeah, there's a little update on Lincoln Rock. But we made it for sunset. I've sent Vanessa off ahead. <laughs> but yeah, what an awesome day. Ah. Oh. Let's see what Lincoln Rock has to hold. Uh, let's see what Lincoln Rock has to offer today. You want a good look at Lincoln Rock? You know, I think I've done a video already on this place. I just thought we'd take it on at the end of our hike just to show you what we were doing. Get some footage with the new camera. Woo. The sun behind the clouds. At least we still made it for sunset. What a view. Ooh, yeah.
definitely the Blue Mountains and we saw that there was clouds down in the valley so we thought we'd come check it out. And we finally got the shot. What it looks like, what Vanessa was after. So rest down here just before we head off home. Yeah guys, so I hope you liked that video. Again, smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff because there are more videos coming and there'll be some interesting places that we're going to be going to. And yeah, until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Australia. See ya!